This is around August the 1st, 2010. We're going to talk about colloidal generators. We have a simple uh, one metal colloidal generator for silver only, uh, a CS1-1 with speed control for the stirrer and the electrodes plug in here. We have a second model for silver and gold. You switch silver gold to the appropriate frequencies and current levels. Again, a speed control. This is the inside of the unit showing all of the electronics and a little 12 volt um, Mabuchi motor which we run around 2 volts so it never burns out. Um, this is our 2 channel 12 metal model with uh, two large silver 2 inch by 6 inch electrodes and the stirrer the speed of which can be controlled make it go fast making it go slowly depending on the vortex that you want and this sits uh, on a four or five liter container just like that and then when you have uh, two channels as in this case or more channel five channels six channels there are this cable goes to a plate stirrer plate with a little another little motor on each plate going to separate uh, separate containers with different metals, different sizes, different volumes, each with its own uh, control knob. The, uh, these are the large 2 inch by 6 inch electrodes that uh, is preferable to use and it's sealed at the top with food grade epoxy and a gold tip electrode. These are a pair of smaller pure silver electrodes and smaller still. I wouldn't go any smaller than this because anything smaller has too small a surface area. Uh, once these uh, wear down, th this is my own electrode, after about six months or more they wear down like this uh, to be expected. Then you clean, clean it with steel wool after each session. Uh, other metals would be th gold met two gold metal uh, electrodes one inch by one inch larger larger gold electrodes for colloidal gold and uh, other metals like for magnesium electrodes very light for colloidal magnesium colloidal zinc electrodes uh, colloidal tin electrodes and uh, colloidal t titanium electrodes we get our metal, silver metal in plates that we uh, cut to size or in bars that we, uh, solid bars of pure silver that we specially have designed or made or smaller, shorter bars, pure solid silver. The stirrers are either the uh, plastic, uh, plain plastic stirrer or a magnetic stirrer. Um, this is a brand new stirrer with a loaded magnet which creates magnetizes the water and then after a while it gets covered with silver atoms, a form of silver plating. The, pla the silver covers everything after a while and the power supply can either be for North American use uh, a wall adapter transformer or a solid state switching more compact power supply for any country, 24 volts or 48 volts. And, and these plug right in to the generator, plug right, right in. And the speed control, uh, the intensity control. We do have a small emergency travelers model where all the electronics is in here. You can either have this in your pocket or uh, with the accompanying uh, container uh, that will take certain electrodes will plug in and uh, go into the container you need two all you always need two electrodes uh, when you're making we will move on to uh, bulk industrial quantities of colloidal silver etc here is a double electrode one of silver and one of copper and we can control the ratio of the two metals. This was for a dolphin pool where some fish are sensitive to copper and others to silver and this would be the, the charging chamber. We have, uh, we're experimenting with the bigger charging chambers 
with longer electrodes and a built-in motor, a built-in pump to circulate rather than having an external pump with all the problems of leakage in plumbing. Once you've made your the colloidal silver water, and this is full of the water, the RO, reverse osmosis water, then you want to pour it, let it sit for a day to let the sediment, and then you pour it into a large vessel like this uh, Pyrex, and then you filter it and pour it into a storage vessel out, uh, away from light and use a filter with a brown uh, unbleached filter, paper filter, that will remove any of the larger oxide particles and then store it in a, a, a bottle, glass bottle like this. And then when you're ready, you can bottle it into smaller bottles for personal use. This is a half liter amber bottle or a quarter liter glass or plastic blue bottle, it's quite attractive. Or alternative, they're very useful spray bottle where you can uh, spray your eyes or your ears, or your nose or your throat and this is a very useful little bottle. Finally with regard to measuring PPM we have two conductivity meters. One uh, you dip in and you get a micro siemens measurement of conductivity. This is not TDS, total dissolved solid, which is calibrated for sodium chloride. This will measure uh, uh, actual micro siemens conductivity which is a better indication of PPM uh, so this one we sell for, uh, this is also a more, more expensive model for conductivity but also for ORP for antioxidant measurement and for pH measurement more suited for the food industry